Hey guys, it's M4J here and welcome back to M4J Logistics here on Euro Truck Simulator 2. That's the longest intro probably of any game I've ever played. Um, so I've done some grinding between episodes. I've gone and uh, done quite a lot of driving jobs, unlocked quite a few cities and towns and things like that. One thing I'm yet to do is cross the English Channel or the North Sea. So we stayed in uh, England. I don't even think we've made it into Scotland yet. Is Ireland in the game? It probably is. Uh, I need to check. But I've, I've generated a few... Uh, a few? No, I've generated a bit of cash. That's what I meant to say. Um, so today we're going to continue the grind. A little bit longer. I'm probably going to do like I did with episodes one and two, so sit and record for like two hours and then cut it down into probably four half-hour episodes rather than um, two-hour-long episodes, just so it's a bit more bite-sized for you guys. Maybe even do it in 20-minute segments. I don't know yet. Uh, we'll cross that bridge when we come to it. Um, I've just noticed there's people walk, like walking around and working in the background. That's pretty cool. Uh, so yeah, I haven't bought a truck yet. We're still doing odd jobs um, for other people. But hopefully, within the next few episodes, uh, Ireland is not in the game. Interesting. Maybe there's a mod that adds that. Who knows? Um, yeah, hopefully we'll generate enough money soon that we'll be able to actually uh, unlock our own truck. And then we can start doing our own thing and not have to worry about driving for other people. So, I can't remember where I left off from my last job. I like the idea of just hopping between places, but it doesn't look like that's going to be possible right now, because I can't remember where we were. So let's go back to, like, London. Uh, that there, London. So we've got Felixstowe, Paris. We don't want to cross the channel just yet. I think I want my own truck before I cross, cross the oceans. I think that'll work better. So... Maybe we'll leave London. What have we got here? It's all the same places. I want to go up north. Give me a Newcastle. There we go. Grimsby to Newcastle. Uh, I didn't actually read any of the details. <laughs> probably should have. Probably should have done that. Uh, thinking about it, probably should have done that. All right. I've got to remind myself of the controls. I did also turn the uh, the game volume down because the music was driving me up the wall. Uh, so let me turn that back up. We'll turn the music right down. Was that enable voice navigation? Did I just see? Interesting. Right, let me refamiliarize myself with the controls. So we should have um, cruise control. Uh, that's not what I wanted. Actually, no, this kind of is what I wanted. Cruise control. There. So C enables it. And then speed increase will go plus. Speed decrease will go minus. Um, cruise control resume. Enter. I think that'll work. So wipers is P. Horn is H or air horn, light horn. Light horn? Why would you want a light horn? Surely you want people to get out of the way. You don't want it to be light, you want it to be heavy. Uh, light modes L. Okay. And then I'll just check the um, actual controls here as well. Uh, here it is. Right. So RT obviously accelerates. I'm using an Xbox 360 wired controller. Uh, LT brakes. Clutch, don't need to worry about. Joysticks move around. Uh, so shift to position. Okay, we don't need to worry about that because that's gears, which we're not worried with because everything we drive is automatic. I'm sure there's something to do with um, indicators as well. Right turn indicator. LB and RB. Okay. Yeah, no, that, that makes sense. Uh, so X also turns on cruise control. Okie doke. And should I make it resume as well? I don't think I will. Uh, okay. It's been weeks, if not months, since I last played this game. That's why I'm sort of going through it right now. Just making sure 
that I know what I'm doing. Okay. That works. That works. Uh, oh yeah, forward gear. How do I do that again? Oh my god. We'll get going in a minute, guys. We will get going in a minute. Shift down, shift up. Control and, and uh, right shift, or shift and control. So, shift should put us in forwards. There we go. Right, and I'm going this way. Alright, we're on the open road, people. Uh, I think I just hit the curb. Didn't clip the fence, though, so that's uh, progress. There's a type of junction in this game. I'm sure if I say it, you guys will know which one I mean. It's like if you're turning left onto the motorways and you clip the fence, it completely beaches the truck. And you either have to get a recovery, which eats into your time, or you have to spend the next three hours of your life constantly reversing and driving forward, trying to make it release itself. It's it's not fun. Let's just say that. It's not fun. Okay, let's try and get uh, cruise control on. Now, I don't know where that is. Is it on? It is on. Okay. And this is all the game is now. It's just driving along with cruise control. So I need to learn where the cruise control icon is in all of these trucks. So in the DAF, it's in the, the speedo at the bottom there. Yes. I had a feeling the ambulance was going to come around. Oh! Sorry, officer. Completely slipped my mind to actually turn the damn lights on. Yeah, we'll just put them on low beam. I think it's the camera position, but it kind of makes it look like the truck is sliding to the left slightly. I think that's what happens when the camera position isn't quite lined up. Alright, we can uh, speed up now. So we've got 3 hours 45 minutes. That's not real time, don't worry. Uh, put the wipers on as well. I feel like I'm going to have to move over because knowing my luck, the uh, left lane will be turn off only. We're up to 60 now. Let's speed up. Wow, three windscreen wipers. We've really pushed the boat out here, haven't we? Okay, I will get over. There we go. Has that car got its headlights on? I think it has. So the first episode of this uh, this series has gone up. The second one hasn't yet, and I must say the first one's actually done all right for a new series. I'm quite impressed. So hopefully the rest do just as well. Oh, I need to slow down. Why do I need to slow down? Come on. Ugh. Bad. 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 Okay, we made it. We're alive. That's uh, so yeah, episode one has done quite well. Hopefully episode two will do similarly. I've always noticed that episode two never does as well as episode one, though. So i uh, always got to factor that in. But yeah, I, I, I want to play more games where I'm not just building things. Because although I enjoy it, and I'd like to think I'm good at it, uh, it does get a little bit repetitive. Sometimes I like to just sit back and, and actually experience something rather than having to build my own experience you know so you know planet coaster open ttd all that stuff is fine and that stuff won't be going anywhere it'll be staying on the channel but games like this where you're you're living someone else's world essentially and i'm just driving around doing delivery jobs i'm still building a company uh, and a reputation I, I hope but it's not 
all in my hands, if that makes sense. It's nice and relaxing. Plus, actually, driving driving this truck in the rain and the dark is actually kind of soothing. It's one of those calming things, you know? Right, we're three hours and six minutes away. I'd like to try and arrive early, but I don't think that's going to happen. Oh, the Humber Bridge. Uh, we are going 50, aren't we? Yes. There's a little bit of traffic here on the bridge. Oh, bloody hell. That was a bump. So the Humber Bridge was originally the longest bridge in the world when it first opened. Uh, and even now it's one of the longest suspension bridges in the world. It's very impressive. Very, very impressive. The Humber is a, a big, wide river at the end of the day. So you've got to have a big, wide bridge connecting both sides of it. So one of the things I love about the modern world as well is that people drive over this bridge every single day and don't really think about the history of it. Can these people get out of my way? Right, let's go back up to 50. And just toot the horn until they move. There's one. What do you mean headlight? They were on! <laughs> what are you talking about? They were on! I thought full beam was a headlight usage offence. Alright, two identical cars driving next to each other. You do see that. That is quite realistic. Get out of my way. Oh Christ, I'm supposed to be turning off here. Sorry. Now I'm the uh, idiot driver. This coach is going to be the bane of my existence, isn't it? Turn! Oh. Nearly a disaster. You are supposed to go wide in a truck, but not that bloody wide. Alright, 60 miles an hour. Let's go. Two and a half hours now from Newcastle. How's this looking quality-wise, by the way? I am actually recording this on the new PC rather than the laptop. Um, and I believe the resolution is 4K. I still haven't quite got my head around it. Because I think 4K is just 3,000 plus pixels wide, which is what this is. Uh, and then however many pixels tall. So I'm assuming this is 4K. And I've got all the graphics settings turned up to Ultra. So it might even be better looking first couple of episodes. If that's the case, awesome. This is a very pretty game when you get it going. Very, very pretty. Alright, that coach that was slowing me down just now is going on a risky overtaking manoeuvre, which I think I'll be following him on in a second. Is the road clear? I believe it is. I am currently speeding. Let's turn the speed down while we're doing this. I think that was the safest place to do it. You're not supposed to overtake on a blind bend like that, but we didn't crash. That's the main thing. So it looks like the speed limit's here. It's kind of been adapted for kilometers per hour as well as miles per hour, because the national speed limit on roads like this is 60. But in this game, it's 50. So I think they've just knocked 10 miles an hour off the top speeds. Alright, this isn't a blind bend. I can see what's coming. So, yeah. Sorry. Did you just flip the bird at me? Alright, two hours, two minutes away. Turn the wishy wipers down slightly now. Dynamic weather. It's such a brilliant addition to a game. Alright, that didn't quite go to plan. Newcastle and Edinburgh. Straight on.
Oh yeah, that'd be one reason why it's uh, 50 miles an hour, because that's 80 kilometers per hour. Easy conversions. Mind you, 60 miles per hour isn't that hard to convert, because it's divided by 5 times 8. So you divide that by 5 to get 12, and then you times that by 8 to get you 96. My math skills hopefully not letting me down there. That always, like, Australia use kilometers per hour, and some of their speed limits are quite low anyway, but it always used to fascinate me as a kid, because you get, like, you go through the airport, you get in the car, you start driving, you suddenly see a sign saying 80. You're like, what? 80? And then you remember it's in kilometers an hour, and it's actually only 50 mph, which is really slow compared to UK. This is their national highways as well. The speed limit is about 50 miles per hour. Alright, I'm assuming I can actually turn my lights off now. It is 7 in the morning. No one else has got their lights on. I wonder if they've modelled the Angel of the North. It'd be cool if they did. Oh look, hot air balloon as well. Top right corner. Very nice. Services in half a mile, don't need to worry about that. We're full on gas, we're full on petrol. Average of 6.8 miles per gallon. That's okay, I guess. I mean, it depends how many. I mean, we've got a thousand miles worth of fuel. We're fine. We don't need to stop. Tiredness. I have got tiredness built into the game, but I don't think it applies for these first few jobs. Because you're not going a long enough distance for it to really affect you anyway. Damn thing. Right. Uh, I can turn the wipers off now as well. Come on, truck. Good, trucky. I'm going to have to come up with a name for my truck as well. Maybe I'll have it as a Patreon tier. If you support me on Patreon you get to name my trucks. That could work. I'll also need to be able to like make a livery for my uh, vehicles. That'd be awesome. Like company colours. The M4J logo on the side of a van. Oh living the dream. Alright, just over an hour away from the tune. bridge is that? That looks like the high level bridge, but it can't be because... High level bridge? Or King George V bridge? Uh, one of them. Can't be though, because there's no bottom deck, first and foremost. And we're not in Newcastle yet. In real life, we'll be going past Durham, I think, around about now. I'm trying to remember, because I, I went up to Newcastle just before Christmas to watch Newcastle play Fulham. The less said about that, the better. Um, and plus, that was when I had my, all my headaches and things like that, so I wasn't really paying attention on the journey. It was actually a good car journey, though, because we left the house, and I was feeling rough. The next thing I knew, we'd gone past Peterborough, and then blinked, and we went past Doncaster, then we went past York, then we went past Durham, and suddenly we were there. It was a four-hour drive, and it was gone like that. Coming back was pretty much the same as well. We stopped at McDonald's for breakfast. I was thinking, oh, we must be like Gateshead or you know, Middlesbrough or something like that. Level with Middlesbrough, not actually in Middlesbrough. It's completely the wrong direction. But um, no, we, we stopped at Doncaster for breakfast. <laughs> it's like, oh, okay. <laughs> pretty much halfway home at that point. Right. 40 miles, 39 miles. Speed cameras are 60 mph, though we're doing 56, so that's fine. I'm swerving all over the place. That's a Fiat 500. Fiat 500. Hey! Oh, was it downhill? Oh, you swine! It went. It dropped to 50, and I think it was downhill as well. That's me not paying attention. Too busy looking at cars. I think that's a Mini Clubman actually. It's not round enough to be a 500. I actually know more about cars than I do about trains, that's quite sad. Considering I don't 
really have an interest in cars. I just know them. It's one of the things when you do engineering, most unis don't have a, a mechanic, a mechanical engineering department. So you either end up on motorsport or aerospace. So I know quite a bit about aircraft and I know quite a bit about motorsport and cars in general. Um, and yet I know next to nothing about railways. No, that's not true. I know fair. I know fair amount. I know the class numbers now, which is always the first thing you need to learn. I can pretty much identify trains now by their appearance. One day, maybe, be able to do that with trucks as well. Uh, that was dumb. I just, <laughs> I, I thought I pressed the right analog stick to see what it did, and it turns out it turns the engine off. Okay, this must be coming up to Newcastle now. Just checking I didn't miss the Angel of the North. I, I would be surprised actually if they put it in the game. It's an iconic monument, but it's kind of one of these blink and you miss it type of things. Plus we're coming off the A1 now and I haven't seen it. It should be on the right hand side if it is in the game. Oh, it is in the game! There it is! <laughs> it's a weird looking thing. I, I, I mean, as I say, it's iconic now, but when it was first installed, I imagine quite a few people almost crashed their cars thinking, what the hell is that? And it's not that old. Was it late 80s, I think it was installed? Maybe early 90s? I'm sure it's one of these things, if you, if you know art, which I don't, uh, you appreciate it a little bit more. But for me, it's it's not an eyesore. It's definitely not an eyesore, but it's also not something that I would actively pull over and look at. No disrespect intended, because, you know, the fact that I was looking out for it suggests that it's done its job. Alright, it is 60 miles per hour here, but I'm going to do 50, because I don't want to get caught speeding again. Pretty much all the money I've earned from this job has been lost in fines. This, this one's a complete write-off. We'll get some bonuses. Uh, I probably won't reverse the truck into position. I'll just do the one where you drive it in and, and job done. Slow down, trucky. Hmm. Oh, this is where the cruise control stops working. Come on. Nothing's work. Oh, hang on. There we go. So, next landmark, Tyne Bridge. I think that's back that way. Doesn't look like you can cross the river in this game. I oh, know. I think we're about to cross the river. Oh, there's the Millennium Bridge. That's the Tyne Bridge. Okay. They're kind of in the right place. We're technically in Gateshead right now, then. We're not in Newcastle. I'm going. I'm going. Ow, you son of a... Oh, Mercedes-Benz dealer. this one. Yeah, it's this one. Alright, I'm going to do the simple one. That one. Play it safe. I just want to get this job done. Move on. We'll just ease it in. I guess the trailer wasn't straight enough. Turn 
10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10. And straight. Done. Right. That was awful. I mean, we got a fair amount of XP from it, at least. But money-wise, I think we lost a lot in fines. We were on 33,000. Oh, we have gone up to 36. Alright, job market. I'm just going to shut my door, because there's a door right outside mine that's blowing in the wind, and it's... I mean, all of our doors are loud and creaky, but that one especially. Driving me up the bloody wall. Right. Quick job. Shall we start in Newcastle? Is there one that goes across to Carlisle? Oh, there's a lot that go to, to mainland Europe, because there's a ferry from Newcastle over to uh, Amsterdam. There's one to Sheffield. We haven't been to Sheffield yet. Uh, how long's the drive? Two hours fifty-six. Okay, so that's about an hour less than what we just did. So um, should be a nice easy run. Let's do it. All right, we're in a Renault this time. So that's the speedo in the middle. Cruise control is bottom left corner of the right hand screen. Gotcha. I'm going to drive it manually for now. When we get out of the, the main city, then I'll put the cruise control on. Because it really wasn't designed for this. It was designed for long motorway drives. Right, I think we're safe. that van pulling out in front of me? Yes, of course he is. Oh, that horn. What on earth is that horn? Alright, cruise control. Of course I get stuck behind. You'd think a white van man would go a little bit faster, wouldn't you? Oh, it's the guy in front of him. It's slow. Am I going to be stuck in the slowest overtaking maneuver ever? Come on. Come on, truck. I need to get back over in a minute. Come on, truck. Oh, do I risk it and take a speeding fine? I wasn't speeding. Me, officer. Oh, damn it. Excuse me, I indicated. Excuse me. You wouldn't believe this if I told you I'm actually quite a good driver in real life. I just get a bit reckless in these sorts of games. It's not my truck. Obviously, I'll take a lot better care of my own truck, because you have to pay the repair bills if you do bash it up. Oh, it's struggling. Uh, where'd you spring from? That was a bit catastrophic, wasn't it? We have to really look around next time. Pass the services. Where's that bloody great angel? We turned off before it, didn't we? So it'll be behind us somewhere. I'm not going to risk crashing trying to find it. Two and a half hours away from Sheffield.
That's it. Do some undertaking. See you later, white van man. Ha <laughs> ha Cut across him. He's the one that hit me as well, so... Deserves it. That's what you get, you fool. Oh, now we're getting undertaken. Yeah, you're trapped. That was a good move, wasn't it, buddy? Still 50. And now 60. Speed back up. When you're ready, truck. When you're ready, truck. Bloody van again. Yeah, yeah, laugh it up, pal. As soon as we hit a downhill section, you're in trouble. Accelerate manually past 56. Yes. Alright, come here, van. Oh, wait, no, it's not. Alright, know your limits. Sorry, blue car. I just realised the rear view mirror actually isn't a rear view. I mean, obviously, it's not a rear view in a truck, but I didn't think there would be one at all. But it looks down the nose to make sure you don't hit anything. That's actually kind of clever. See, I'm learning. I'm learning about the industry. Who said video games aren't educational? I'll be a logistics god by the end of this series. You watch. I'm already the overtaking king. Look at that manoeuvre. There's that van again. I've got him in my crosshairs. Come on, truck. I need you, Volvo, to hold him up. No, oh, don't pull over. Oh, you fool. You're letting him get away. Okay, an hour and a half away, 60 MPH, we're currently cruising at an altitude of 56. Got some douche in a blue mini right in front of us. Life is good. The birds are circling, that hot air balloon is still there three hours later, hasn't moved. If you look to your left, you'll see the power station. Yes, I know, before anyone says it's not a power station, it's a substation. Here comes a fella. Let's try and guess what car that is. Ooh. Is that Subaru? Is that the Subaru badge? I can't even speed up to get a closer look. I think that was the Subaru badge. I'm not 100% sure. Oh, 50. 